In this video, let us see about the different types of single phase induction motor. In single phase induction motor, we have stator as well as rotor. The stator has a single phase winding and the rotor is of squirrel gauge type. So single phase AC supply has to be given to the stator winding. So it will produce only an alternating flux. So in such cases single phase induction motor is not a self starting motor. It means that it cannot start by itself. Then how to make this single phase induction motor to rotate? If by some external means we are able to start the motor then it will continue to rotate in that direction. Only problem is that it lacks the starting torque. So to make the single phase induction motor self starting we should produce a rotating magnetic field instead of an alternating field produced in a single phase induction motor. How to produce the starting torque? We can make the single phase induction motor to work like a two phase motor so that a rotating magnetic field will be produced and starting torque will be developed. We know in a single phase induction motor there is a single winding in the stator. We can add one more winding called axillary winding in the stator and we can place both the windings such that they are at a space angle of 90 degree. So if two windings are carrying current at an angle of 90 degree then starting torque will be produced. There are different types of single phase induction motor based on the manner in which uh, the motor is started. So first is called split phase motor which is the widely used method. In that there are different types of um, motor. One is called resistance start motor. Another one is capacitor start motor. Capacitor start capacitor run motor and permanent split capacitor motor. Another one is shaded pole motor. Apart from that there are various uh, types of single phase induction motor. Uh, some of them are reluctant start motor, repulsion start motor. First we will see about the split phase induction motor as the name suggests split phase means a single phase is divided into two phases. So the rotor is of squirrel gauge type and stator has two windings. One is called the starting winding, another one is the main winding. This starting winding is also called as axillary winding. So this is a main winding or running winding that is it will be always connected in the circuit. Another one is the starting winding or axillary winding which will be connected through a centrifugal switch. Here both the windings are uh, connected in parallel across the supply that is for this winding and this winding supply is connected parallel to it. So the windings are displaced 90 degree electrical in space so that the phase difference between the two currents will be very large. So here the motor has two windings so it acts like a two phase motor and the current produces a rotating flux and thereby a torque will be developed and the motor becomes self starting. First we will see about the resistance start motor. So here you see the diagram there are two windings starting winding and main winding. So this main winding will have uh, low resistance and large reactance. In uh, starting winding there will be high resistance and low reactance. So this combination is given that is the main winding has more reactance, starting winding has more resistance. We know in a resistive circuit V and I will be in phase. In reactive circuit V and I will have a phase difference of 90 degree. So to produce the starting torque we need to keep a large phase difference between these two currents. For that you have to choose this combination. Then you have a centrifugal switch 
which is used to disconnect the starting winding under running conditions. So once the machine is started or when it reaches 75 percentage of its rated speed this switch will be opened so that the starting winding will be disconnected from the circuit. Now let us draw the phasor diagram. So the voltage supply voltage V is taken as reference. If you see the starting winding it has more resistance and a small reactance. So this current IS lacks the supply voltage by some small angle because it is more resistive. And if you see the main winding it is more reactive and less resistive. So if we know in a pure inductive circuit and the angle will be 90 degree between V and I. But this has some resistance. So our IM is here. So if you see these two currents. They have a phase difference between IS and IM. Okay. So if this phase difference is more. Then starting torque will be high. So this is I. Capital I represents the resultant current due to these two currents. So starting torque is directly proportional to IS IM into sin alpha. Alpha is the angle between the two currents. So sin 90 will give you the maximum current. So if you increase alpha your starting torque will increase. So the centrifugal switch will be opened when the motor reaches 75 percentage of the rated speed and the starting torque is about 1.5 times the full load torque. And these are some of the applications of um, split phase uh, induction motor, food mixer, grinder, floor polishes, everything and they are less costly compared to the other methods. Next we will see about the capacitor motors. So have you ever noticed a capacitor connected to the ceiling fan? So this is the ceiling fan to which capacitor is connected. So depending upon the purpose of connecting the capacitor it, are, it is classified into different types. Capacitor start motor it means that the capacitor is used for starting purpose only. In some cases it is one capacitor is used for starting another for running condition then it is called capacitor start and capacitor run motor sometimes it will be permanently connected in the circuit then it is called permanent split capacitor motor so in capacitor motors the capacitors will be connected in series with the axillary winding circuit we have seen that there are two windings in split phase motor one is the main winding another one is the starting winding or axillary winding so in that starting winding we have to connect the capacitor in series the capacitors can produce a phase difference between the current in the main and axillary windings so if the phase difference is high the starting torque will be high first we will see the capacitor start motor it means that the capacitor is used only for starting purpose. So you see here in axillary winding capacitor is connected in series. It is connected through a centrifugal switch. So after starting this switch will be opened so that this circuit capacitor and axillary winding will be removed. So let us uh, draw the phasor diagram. So V is here, uh, main winding current is here and this starting current or the axillary current you see it will be leading the voltage by some angle because we have connected a capacitor now. So in resistive start motor what happens the current this starting winding current will be here it will be lagging the voltage since we have connected a capacitor here the phase difference between IM and IS has improved if this improves this angle improves the starting torque will increase 
So, here the starting torque is 3 to 4.5 times the full load torque and 5 for high starting torque. Starting capacitor value must be large. For the same starting torque, the current in the starting winding is less or it is only about half that is in a resistor split phase motor. So, here the starting characteristics is improved because of the capacitor, but the running characteristics will be same because starting winding is removed under running conditions. So, there will not be any change in the running characteristics, only starting characteristics is improved because of capacitor. But the issue here is this is costly because of the capacitor because additionally we are using a capacitor so that can increase the cost of the motor. If you see the applications um, it is used for heavy loads where frequent start is required. For example it can be used in compressor in the refrigerator and air conditioner and it is also used in conveyors and some machine tools. Next we will see the capacitor start and capacitor run motor as the name says a capacitor is used for starting and capacitor is also used for running condition. So if you see we have two windings main winding and starting winding both the windings will be connected to the supply during both starting and running condition. Usually we will remove the starting winding but in this case both the windings will be connected in the circuit but here two capacitors are used that is the two capacitors will be used for starting after uh, once the machine is started one capacitor will be removed and only one capacitor is used for running condition. So this is the capacitor start capacitor run motor you can see the main winding is connected to the circuit and this starting winding is also connected in series with the capacitor and it is connected to the circuit permanently only the another capacitor is connected through a switch which can be disconnected after the machine is started so one capacitor will be in series with the starting winding and it will be permanently connected only the other capacitor is removed after starting. Applications if you see the motor is will be very quiet and smooth um, running operation it can give. So higher efficiency than motors that run on the main windings only and it is used for loads of higher inertia that requires frequent start. So, pumping equipment, refrigeration for that purpose, this type of motor is used. Next, we have permanent split capacitor motor. So, you can see the um, circuit and still capacitor is connected permanently in the circuit for both uh, conditions, starting condition and running condition. So, here only single capacitor is used, main winding, starting winding and capacitor is uh, permanently connected. Advantage is that no centrifugal switch is required and they have a higher efficiency, higher power factor because of a permanently connected capacitor and it has a high pull out torque. If you see the limitations, um, the electrolytic capacitors cannot be used for continuous running. So, we have to use oil filled type capacitors which are very costly. And moreover, we are using only one capacitor. It means that starting torque is lower. And these are some of the applications of the motor. Next, we will see about shaded pole motor. If you see the picture itself, we know some part is shaded. So, it is called shaded pole motor. This is normally used for very uh, low power application like toys or a table fan or a small toy fans. For that purpose, this type of motor is preferred because they have very simple construction. 
and they are self starting motors it consists of a stator as well as um, cage type rotor if you see the construction clearly you can see that there are two poles or the stator is made up of salient poles here a portion of each pole you can see there is a slot here in one side we have a slot in that one coil is there which is called the shading coil so it is actually a single turn coil or it is short circuited single turn coil made up of copper when ac supply is given to the stator windings an alternating flux will be produced here we have a shading coil this stator flux will link with the shading coil and emf will be induced since this shading coil is short circuited it will induce a current and current will create its own flux the net flux in the shaded portion lags behind the flux in the unshaded portion because of that torque will be developed which makes the motor to rotate from the unshaded part to the shaded part that's why this motor has a definite direction of rotation you cannot reverse the direction of rotation in this type of motor if you see the limitations the power losses will be very high and they have a low power factor low starting torque and poor efficiency and this motor is usually designed for very low power ratings like um, uh, small fans toys hair dryers table fans only for small wattage application this type of motor is used so the points to remember here are in split phase motor there are different types resistance start motor capacitor start motor capacitor start capacitor run motor permanent slip capacitor motor and you have shaded pole motor in split phase motor there will be two windings starting winding and main winding the starting winding will be removed after uh, the motor attains 75 percentage of its rated speed and the windings are displaced by 90 degree electrical end space so that there will be a phase difference between these two currents and the machine will work like a two phase motor so and thereby the motor develops a rotating torque and it becomes self starting if you see the shaded pole motor uh they are self starting motor and they have a simple construction but losses will be very high and they have low power factor and low starting torque and poor efficiency because of these purpose they are preferred only for low wattage applications especially for toys hair dryer or uh, table fans like that if you like the material please do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you